السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از یونٹ نمبر ٹین ٹوڈے وی ول ڈو بک ایکسرسائز فرام پیج نمبر نائنٹی نائن ٹو پیج نمبر ون ہنڈریڈ فور کلاس نائن سبجیکٹ انگلش ناؤ کمنگ ٹو فرسٹ ایکسرسائز وچ از چوز دا کریکٹ آنسر فار فرام دا فالوئنگ نمبر ون دا انوینشن اینڈ یوز آف انٹرنیٹ ہیز ہیز ریڈیوز دا ورلڈ ان ٹو اے گلوبل ولیج گلوبل ولیج ریفرز ٹو دا ورلڈ ایز اے سنگل کمیونٹی لنکڈ بائی ڈیش لنکڈ بائی ٹیلی کمیونیکیشن سو گلوبل ولیج ریفرز ٹو دا ورلڈ ایز سنگل کمیونٹی لنکڈ بائی ٹیلی کمیونیکیشن نمبر ٹو کمیونیکیشنز آر میڈ اے لاٹ ایزیئر بائی ڈیش بائی موبائل فونس نمبر تھری این ادر امپورٹنس آف ٹیکنالوجی ان اور ڈیلی لائف از دیٹ It has eliminated the bulkiness associated with paperwork. Bulkiness associated with, with paperwork means massive paperwork that is difficult to move from one place to another. Number four, time is money. So we must have fast and efficient means of transport. Time is money means time is valuable. Valuable means precious scheme thi hai. It's better to utilize it properly. یہ بہتر ہوگا to utilize اس کو استعمال کریں properly بہتر طور سے. Number five. Large amount of data usually involved in research can be easily accessed through internet. Now coming to vocabulary. From the text, look up the phrases meaning the same as. So these are the phrases you have to find from the text the same meaning same meaning having the same meaning phrases genetic modification means genetic engineering store water means dams calling means cellular phones number b consult a thesaurus and find out the antonyms of the following word antonyms means having opposite meaning so there are some words given in the Uh, blocks and we have to find its antonyms store antonym of it is spend store means zakhira karna spend means kharch karna desert desert means sera oasis means a place where there is greenery friend enemy delay takhir priority avalin haisiyat dena benefit fayda loss nuksan Now coming to, first of all, we will discuss what is a phrase. It is taken from your book. It is written in detail in your book. A phrase is a collection of words that may have nouns or verbals, but it does not have a subject and an action verb. The following are example of phrases. Leaving behind the dog. smashing into a fence before the first test after devastation between ignorance and intelligence broken into thousands of pieces because of her glittering smile in these examples above you will find nouns nouns are written in brackets dog fence test devastation ignorance intelligence thousands pieces you also have some verbals leaving smashing but in no case is the noun functioning as a subject doing a predicate verb they are all phrases so you have to keep in mind simply that a phrase is a collection of words that may have nouns or verbals now coming to what is a clause a clause is a subject or a group of subjects and a predicate or a group of predicates working together a sentence can have as few as one clause or it may have many clauses so a sentence can have only one clause or it may have many clauses clauses are to sentences what rooms are to houses there is an example which is given that clauses are to sentences clauses jumlon ke liye aise hain jaise ke rooms are to houses jaise ghar ke liye kamre hote hain 
a sentence may have only one clause like a studio apartment may have only one room so here again the use of it is um, over here there is a example like a studio apartment may have only one room like there is only one room in studio apartment so they are making they are giving you an example to make you better understand that a sentence may have only one clause just like apartment have only one room or a sentence may have many clauses like a house may have many rooms or a sentence may have many clauses again there is the use of example just like a house may have many rooms clauses are the building blocks of longer sentence so what you have to keep in your mind what is a clause a clause is a subject or a group of subjects and a predicate or a group of predicates working together and a sentence may have only one clause or it may have many clauses now coming to after reading what is phrase now coming to what is noun phrase a noun phrase is a group of words which functions as a noun in a sentence so it is a collection of words which functions as a noun in a sentence now coming to adverbial phrases or adverb phrases an adverbial phrase is a group of words that act together as an adverb giving more information about a verb adjective or other adverb in a sentence the adverbial phrase answer the same questions as a regular adverb the questions are how how much when or where now coming to adjective phrase an adjective phrase serve the same purpose as an adjective that means it modifies a noun or a pronoun now coming to book exercise identify the phrases in the following sentences and state their kind so in this ex uh, exercise we will identify whether the sentence is adjective phrase adverb phrase or it is a noun phrase so the first one is he was a man of great great wealth he was a man of great wealth of great wealth it is phrase and we have to identify the kind of it its kind is adjective phrase because it qualifies noun because it qualifies noun the principal was an old man of friendly disposition a friendly disposition it is a phrase and we have to kind we have to find its kind its kind is adjective phrase because this sentence also modify noun the workers belong to a tribe dwelling in the hills dwelling in the hills it is adjective phrase and because it is modifying noun there i met a boy with red hair with red hair it is phrase and we have to identify it kind it its kind is adjective phrase because it is modifying it is modifying noun only a man with plenty of money can buy a car of such beauty and power with plenty of money and such beauty and power these are adjective phrases in this sentence he was a young man of great promise of great promise it is phrase and it is an adjective phrase because it is modifying noun he wore a turban made of gold so it made of gold it is adjective phrase because it is modifying noun he ran with great speed it is adverb phrase because he ran with great speed it give us the answer of the question how he ran he ran with great speed so with great speed it is adverb phrase so from um, statement number 1 to 7 all the underlined phrases are adjective phrases and the last one is adverb phrase after doing the exercise of 
phrases now coming to adjectives its degrees and its order or order of adjective now coming to first of all we will discuss what is adjective adjective is a word which qualifies a noun is called an adjective examples a blue bell so blue is modifying bell three apples three is modifying apples now coming to degrees of adjective what is degrees of adjective an adjective is a word that qualifies a noun or pronoun example is sara is an innocent girl now coming to degrees of adjective what is degree of adjective there are three degrees of adjective first one is positive degree positive degree when an adjective is in its simple form it only shows the presence of some quality in a thing without saying how much of this quality it has it is called positive degree of adjective example rashid is a tall boy comparative degree comparative means comparison of between two things when an adjective is used to compare the quality of two things it is called the comparative degree it shows a higher degree of quality than the positive degree examples rahil is taller than rashid saba is more innocent than sara so here is comparative comparison between rahil and rashid and then shows that there is comparison between two persons so the word then also help us to figure out that it is a comparative degree or the comparison between two person now coming to superlative degree when an adjective is used to show the highest degree of the quality it is called superlative degree or you can say when there is comparison of one thing with the whole lot it is termed as superlative degree examples raza is the tallest boy in the class so raza and there is comparison with with uh, in the school so with the whole school the comparison of raza with the whole lot with the whole lot is means with school so raza is the tallest boy in the school sadia is most innocent of all the comparatives may be formed by how to form comparatives and superlatives out of positive degree so there is a rule for it a com the comparatives may be formed by adding er or ier to the positives and superlatives uh, may be formed by adding est or iest to the positives so comparatives are formed by adding er or ier to the positives and superlatives are formed by adding est or iest to the positives so there are a chart which shows positive comparative and superlative degree big bigger biggest clever cleverer cleverest old older oldest there are so many words written over here for just for giving you example now coming to with adjectives of two or more syllables the comparatives are formed by using the word more before the positives so when there are word having two syllables or more than two syllables so we add more before the positive positives degree with adjectives of two or more syllables the superlative are formed by using the most before the positive so there are some words which have two syllables or more than two syllables so in this situation we add more before the positive degree and most before the positive degree just uh, there are some examples beautiful more beautiful most beautiful careful more careful most careful and so on with some adjectives the comparatives and superlatives are formed by changing the spellings of positive there are some degrees in which we change the spellings of 
comparatives and superlatives just like if we have word bad then comparative of it is worse and superlative of it is worst good better best little less least many more most and so on now coming to order of adjective what is order of adjective in a sentence to form a to form a proper sentence to make a pro proper sentence we have order of adjective what is order of adjective at position 1 we have opinion at position 2 we have size 3 we have age 4 is shape 5 is color 6 is material 7 is origin origin means from where it belong 8 is purpose now uh showing some example of first order of adjective first order of adjective is opinion and example of it is nice or horrible small second one is size and example of it is small and little age old or new shape square round color black red material plastic silk origin spanish french origin means from where it belong purpose purpose means the use how to use it racing and writing what is the purpose of it now coming to first exercise which a, in which we have to find adjectives so underline the adjectives in the following sentence first one is the team has had enough practice enough it is adjective in this sentence she did not eat any fruit any it is adjective in this sentence he is a noisy boy noisy it is adjective they showed much patience much is adjective this is a pakistani cloth pakistani is adjective because what is adjective an adjective is a word which modifies noun or pronoun now coming to change these uh, words into adjectives and write their comparative and superlative degree one is done for you so here are some words which may be noun or verbs how to make adjectives out of noun or verbs so we have to add as suffix there we have to add some suffix with it as love and lovely ly grace we have add suffix with it full music we have add suffix al with it musical juice we have add cy with it fool we have add ish with it dust we have add y with it so by adding some suffix with verbs or noun we can form adjectives so this one is positive degree of adjective this one is comparative degree of adjective this one is superlative degree of adjective as one is done for you harm harm harmful or more harmful most harmful first word is love so adjective of it is lovely comparative is lovelier and superlative is loveliest grace graceful more graceful most graceful music musical more musical most musical juice juicy juicier juiciest fool foolish more foolish most foolish dust dusty dustier dustiest nation national more national most national child childish more childish most childish danger dangerous more dangerous most dangerous comfort comfortable more comfortable most comfortable so it was an exercise in which we have made positive degrees comparative degrees and superlative degrees now coming to the exercise 3 use the correct degree of adjective in the following sentences 
this is the dash tree in the garden so over here there is comparison of one thing with the whole lot and we will use tallest we will use tall with est so est means it is the superlative degree so this is the tallest tree in the garden tallest is superlative degree she is a dash woman she is a wise woman it is simple adjective he is the dash of all brothers he is the youngest of all brothers youngest est so it is superlative degree of it prevention is dash then cure better it is comparative degree because use of the word then shows it is comparison between prevention and cure so the compa the comparative degree of good is better positive degree is good comparative degree is better and uh, superlative degree is best so it is comparative degree or we use comparative degree over here your composition is the dash of all your composition is dash of all comparison of one thing with the whole lot so worst bad is the positive degree worse is comparative degree worst is superlative degree so over here we have used superla superlative degree of the given word now coming to complete the following sentences using proper order of adjectives now we have to solve the exercise having proper order of adjective all the students like the dash teacher all the students like the handsome new english teacher so handsome is opinion new is age and english is origin according to the order of adjective you have to put the uh, column order of adjective in front of you and you have to tell all the correct answers with that table or with that column here he recently married a dash woman he recently married a beautiful young punjabi woman beautiful opinion young is age and punjabi is origin this is a dash movie this is a wonderful new pakistani movie he is a dash player he is a smart brave pakistani player it's in the dash container it's in the large blue metal container so in this exercise we learn how to create the proper uh, proper order of adjectives now coming to activity what is activity so your activity is you have to practice all the grammar work given in exercises thank you